Hello adventurers. I have been smoking a Thanksgiving turkey finally. Oh, got everything set up. Sorry, things are a mess. We got new, convert uh, new comforters and homemade mashed potatoes are done. Getting ready to do boiled eggs, where I am doing boiled eggs. And got us a new air fryer. This thing is awesome. Got TV hanging up there. I'm watching Shark Tanks. And we're going to go out and baste our turkey. Oops. Again. Stuffing is looking good. The colder temperatures is taking a little bit of time to get up there. About 152. Finally moved. Got everything all insulated in for the winter. Big propane tank. Super OCD on stuff. Everything is insulated in. The RV. It's currently 13 degrees outside. 75 inside. And we have hot water and cold water running just perfectly fine. So having things uh, skirted properly, that was two inch foam board that I used for uh, skirting and I just took my time and trimmed everything out perfectly and made sure that there was no air leaks that were able to come through the underneath the RV at all. Uh, a lot of the people out here in, in uh, Nevada in this RV park, they haven't really properly skirted everything, so I'm sure they're going to get they're going to their water is going to freeze. <clears throat> the propane tank the bigger one it was expensive to get set up but uh, the lady at the RV park she was telling me if you run space heaters she's seen the the bills come in that anywhere from three hundred dollars running space heaters to four forty five dollars a month so I'm trying to keep the cost down low I think I'd rather run propane that's a hundred and twenty gallon tank in on the propane tank so it should last a little while it's been staying really really warm in here oh a lot better than it was last year in the the pace and backyard plus everything's set up more you know we have sewer we have water the right electricity i did have to change out a power cord i ran into some electrical problems I'm not educated enough on electrical. I struggle with it, but when I put the new power plug in, I had the terminals wrong in the new power plug. And so when I plugged it in, the, the fridge would only work on propane. 
uh, all the other outlets worked, but none of the GCFI or the GFCI outlets would work. All those were shut down, so we ended up putting new plugs and everything. And then I got on YouTube and learned that I hooked it up wrong. So I pulled everything apart, hooked it up right. Now everything's back to running and operating condition. The RV is set up with heated flooring, so that makes it really nice. Mary, she's at work right now. This is going to be she. This is going to be uh, her. Besides that brisket we did for, her, but that wasn't you know that was just a fifteen dollar brisket that I wanted to try. So this will be her actually smoked food that's come off of it. He off of the Traeger and the first tray you know I didn't get we didn't get a I didn't get turkey this Thanksgiving also although we did hang out at Auto Gypsy Garage for Thanksgiving Kelly and Jake were awesome though and the mill was absolutely awesome his friends Butch and his wife they did a great job so I wish I could share this the uh turkey with those guys so Auto Gypsy Garage is they've really come through and help me out with this move a lot so a huge thank you goes out to them they have a, a a youtube channel called auto gypsy garage and jake has his own youtube cha channel called um in my spare time so definitely go check those channels out they're definitely good definitely worth watching and uh if you like hot rods that's what they build so that's what they do and they're perfectionists at everything. So Jake, uh, Kelly's son Jake, is the one that helped me set up my channel, YouTube channel, when I first started going. Um, so I, had, I, I changed the channel because I no longer can drive the Jeep anymore. My The pain in my foot and, uh, and knees... What has happened is limping over the period of time. I've got two torn tendons in my knees. And it's along with the torn tendon in the foot, it's created a bone spur. Now I've got, got a bunch of other things going on. Um, let's see. On January 9th, I will be seeing a hematology. Uh, they're, I, my low platelet count is dangerously low so they're going to be giving me some transfusions to, in the hospital and my high white blood count is still up pretty high so they're going to be doing bone marrow testing and all parts of my body so it should be pretty painful and that <clears throat> oh but everything's finally set up. I'm able to take a break here in the RV. And that. And Sorry things are a little bit messy right now. But hey we got to have a Thanksgiving turkey too. No. We, everybody deserves that. But we'll keep going along with this video. And um, stay safe out there guys. Um, yeah it's pretty cold. Pretty cold. Pretty dress warm. Me uh, spending all the time in Alaska this last year and the first to last or the last of last winter, I've kind of prepared it so I'm just dressed, sweatered, and jeans and shoes still. Everybody kind of looks at me weird. <laughs> so, but I am wearing my Alaska stuff. And if it gets cold, I got my Alaska gear to throw on. Um, we do have uh, the pictures, the video live feed from the lodge. I'll be doing more sunset videos and stuff. Right now they're going into their dark period, so they ha only have about three or four hours of daylight. And like next month, they'll end up uh, being in complete darkness, so we should be able to get some northern lights photos. And that out there from the video cameras. Oh. But... Yeah, um, so we'll, I'll show you more to the RV and that. And if you saw my last video and that you saw the struggles and stuff that I had getting down there. But my Tahoe freaking, it, it pulled up pretty good. I mean, it struggled with the headwind and that. I'm excited for turkey. I love turkey. 
So if you haven't seen my campsgiving holiday video, go check that out. So I invented a holiday a few years ago, and I call it campsgiving. So I do a turkey in like uh, the end of end of May when things start warming up, and it's just for our brutal winter that we go through. So campsgiving is awesome. Check that video out. <coughs> but uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna get back to these hard boiled eggs. And I make the best deviled eggs that you will ever eat. So I do a really badass Thanksgiving dinner. So that's it's worth it. So stick with me. I'll get back with you on this. Alright, adventures. We were consistently a week behind them. She was fine a week ago, but how is she now? These things never work. So that's why it's important to go with your did your thermometers. But it looks good. It smells good. And a lot of juice. I'm going to use the juice to make gravy. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to be yummy. It smells amazing. I just put the ham on. So it was just a glazed ham and glazed it with their mix that they have. And the internal temp on that is 145. So we're getting close. All right, everyone, I stayed up until 3.30 in the morning. I'm just waiting on the yams. Mashed potatoes and gravy from scratch. Smoked, or smoked turkey, stuffing, glazed ham, and I make the best deviled eggs you'll ever eat. This will be Mary's first time eating anything really that I have smoked from scratch or cooked from scratch. Like this. So I hopefully she enjoys it. Alright, adventures. I wanted to show you set up here again. So 74 in here. We'll turn the temperature down to 71 during the daytime. Oops. Everything smells good. Same view. It's awesome. I hope you guys had a awesome Thanksgiving. Look at Spongebob. So I got brought that back from Alaska. Oh, I hope you guys have an, had a an happy Thanksgiving and safe travels. Um, I do have a new sponsor for the channel and something's cool I'm going to be giving away that's going to be really, really cool after we figure things out. So I hope you stay tuned for it. And if you want to join in this giveaway, I need a 1,000 subscribers. And trust me, the giveaway is going to be awesome and worth it. So, and I will let you guys in on that secret on coming up Monday and Tuesday. So it's a pretty cool giveaway. So, pretty cool sponsor. Pretty excited about that. So, alright guys. You know the drill. If it's cool, we'll film it. Peace out. I wanted to show you the yams. Marshmallows came out perfectly. <laughs>